I struggle with my YouTube identity and where do I want to go from here? I have this outline for this YouTube video that I created two months ago. So my YouTube identity, who I am on YouTube, the Cray Cray J brand and how I, f how I feel in this current moment. I've been doing YouTube for 10 years. When it hits the end of June, I've been doing YouTube for 10 years. And yes, I do have a video planned to post for my 10 year anniversary. I've been doing this for a very long time, ever since I was 13. <laughs> I am 23 and I've actually been doing YouTube way longer than that. Um, I want to say maybe when I was 11. So just a little, so 12 years, but this YouTube channel, this I've been doing for 10 years and I don't know how, I don't really know how to feel anymore, which is very sad to say, but I think I've just, I've, I've just accepted it. Um, it's not that I don't, it's not that I don't want to quit YouTube. I don't want to stop doing YouTube. It's just not my number one priority anymore. So the forms of content that I've created over the past 10 years have always been, <coughs> oh, have, oh my gosh, have always been what I am interested in at that time and who I was then. When I started my channel, when I was a 13 year old in middle school, <laughs> I loved Gen X Pen, O2L, Andrea Russet. When I started my YouTube channel as a 13 year old, the stuff that I was posting were challenge videos, the chubby bunny challenge, the smoothie challenge the best friend tag. Then when I was going into high school, I started posting what I also enjoyed at the time, like when I was going into high school, Alicia Murray, Mamma Mia makeup. <laughs> and so I would want to do like makeup videos, kind of. What, what did I post? Fashion videos, DIYs, Lord DIY, yeah. And then growing up or going farther into high school, um, I'm not exactly sure what I posted. To be honest, I don't really remember. I want to say vlogs. Like, definitely my senior year of high school, I posted vlogs and stuff. Emma Chamberlain was, and it still is, my favorite person. Like, I love Emma Chamberlain. This type of content that was popular at the time is what I was posting because it was something that I was interested in. I also was making videos for myself but then also of course i had a dream to become like a big youtuber and go to vidcon and go to la like i wanted to like that whole entire lifestyle i wanted to do but at the same time i enjoyed making videos it's what i did i've always made videos ever since i was a kid i've talked about it before when i was in high school i was involved in a bunch of stuff and like film like, i would just it's what i do so it made sense for me. And like, that was my dream. And then, you know, I graduated high school. I didn't really know what to do. It's not that this was my goal. Like graduating high school, I'm gonna become a YouTuber. That's not how it was. It was just more of like, I am lost and depressed and I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna continue doing YouTube. My friends are going and going to college and doing this stuff. And I'm like, I have so much social anxiety and so much anxiety that I, don't know what to do. I still did my YouTube channel. So I just got super lucky by editing myself into Victorious <laughs> and then forming this whole entire brand of me editing myself into TV shows. Victorious, Glee, Dance Moms, Descendants, High School Musical, Zombies. I started the editing series 2019-2020 the end of 2019, 2020. That was four or five years ago, 18, 19 years old. And with this success that I got from this, like I loved doing that. Like it was just so fun. It's just so fun and so creative. And I love dressing up in the costumes. Now I do costumes. When I first started the series though, I just like didn't really have that much costumes because I didn't have that much money. I 
just like it was fun to like you know i me me i love dancing so i'm like watching a music video or something or like watching descendants and like loving the choreography and like thinking that i can put myself into like editing myself into this show or this movie it was really fun and it still is very fun growing my youtube channel so fast getting millions of views and like having fun like doing what i've always dreamed of like i found my niche i found something that i enjoyed and people loved watching and knew me for it I thought in my head, I was like, okay, you know how fucking cool it would be to edit yourself into a movie and then like be in a movie. Like I fully thought and believed that, I, and it was my goal, like that I could work with Netflix or Disney plus Hulu or like whatever. Cause you know how fucking cool that would be. Yeah. And that definitely could have been a thing. Like I could have so done that. So that was like my whole, that's my whole brand, my whole stick. Stick? Stick. And that's been my brand and who I've been on YouTube for four or five years. Throughout my YouTube channel and throughout these 10 years, I never stuck to one thing. Because again, I was a teenager, I was 13 years. Now, yes, I do still like making green screen videos. Like I'm literally... Right now, as I'm filming this, I am working on the Taylor Swift video, the Eras Tour, all right? I have stuff filmed. I haven't gotten to editing because, again, I run a business, but my grandma's working on costumes, and that's what I've loved. Like, I love doing the costumes. Like, my Taylor Swift costumes look so good. Again, I've been doing this. This niche, this set of YouTube videos, set of for four or five years, and I'm a little tired. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, but it's... Um, I do a lot of Disney content. Descendants and zombies. Yeah, I still, like, love that. You know, like, nostalgic things. But I'm not really mu that much into it. I have no idea what's going on with Disney. <laughs> I do not watch, like, Disney shows or... I guess I've grown out of it, but also... I collect Monster High dolls, so it's not like I'm 23, I'm out of Disney Disney Channel. No, I just, I just don't. It's just like, it was something that I was like so focused on and so a part of for like, for, for like this, this, and like now I'm just like, it's not what I'm into. So it's just kind of figuring out like, what do I want? What do I want to do on my channel? Like my YouTube channel is not my top priority anymore. It's been like nine, 10 months since I started my business. Like I fully own a business run a business editing videos and working with people working with content creators working with businesses working with companies you name it and that's my top priority that's my that's my job that's my steady income that's what my main focus is on youtube is not anymore i don't want to quit my youtube channel and doing green screen videos is so time consuming and it's just kind of like, okay, I don't think I can do green screen videos anymore. And I'm also not really interested in it anymore. Like I am, like I still watch things like the Mean Girls musical, which I, Mean Girls on Broadway, I love. So when the movie came out, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I have to edit myself into that. Don't know when, <laughs> like, I just don't have the time, but I still want to make YouTube videos. And this is what I struggle with is you want me to edit myself into all of these shows, I kind of don't want to do that anymore. And then I feel bad for not wanting to do that. But I didn't have this problem when I was younger because I didn't have a following that I do now. I posted what I wanted to post. Now it's like, I post what I want to post, but I also have to post what people are interested in. But I just try to figure out like what type of content should I post on my Cray Cray J branded YouTube channel? And I say Cray Cray J brand. I've also, I've, I don't know if I want to be called Cray Cray J anymore. I am not changing this though. Like, it's just like that. The name is, I'm not changing that. But I came up with it when I was 12. I'm 23. But I, I just don't know what type of content to post on this channel if I was to switch it up. If I take a look at the people that, I love to follow what I like to watch on YouTube. Brittany Broski, Tommy Chris, Selena Spooky Boo, Van Wives, 
Claire Holt, Emma Chamberlain, always Emma Chamberlain. I watch, a, I read a lot of books, okay? So I'm on booktube. I'm on booktube, Trixie Mattel, I watch drag queens. I work for a drag queen, I watch dra drag, is me, part of me, love it. I struggle with my YouTube identity. And where do I want to go from here? I don't want to quit YouTube. I've done YouTube for so long. I love YouTube. But I am 23. And I want to switch it up. Because I've always switched it up. Before I had my success. It feels good saying this. Because I've had, like, I literally have had this, like, typed for two months. I also, too, am going through a lot in my life currently, which I'm not going to share on the internet, but, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you when I see you.